welcome to Magical Meals of Pearl Spark Pass, and today it's gonna to be a disaster. Normally Amanda does these videos and I have never really cooked anything. I probably could burn water if I be completely honest. I'm not a cook, but I was on Getaway Today's website. They're like a, a, one of our friends and they have this travel agency and I was just looking for ideas and like hopefully find me trying to get some more information when Disney's gonna open up. And they had this do-it-yourself Pop-Tart recipe. Apparently in Walt Disney World there's a thing called Woody's Lunchbox and they sell these Pixar Pop-Tarts. And I was reading, that, reading the recipe and I'm like, I can make that. So today I'm gonna make a Pixar Pal Papa Pop-Tart. Here's the ingredients to make the Pop-Tarts. The first thing you need is these ready-to-bake pie crusts. So, I, I mean, I guess you could make your own pie crust if you wanted to, but I could never do that in a million years. So you need a pie crust. Oops, here you go. Oh, there it is, pie. Almost looks like a, like a bread sticker. Eat me. And you're gonna put this down. I put some parchment paper down already, some wax paper. You roll this out like this. I'm gonna do two of them. You take the other one and you open this one up. Oh shoot. It's stuck. You guys see that? It's stuck. You don't want that's bad. You don't want that to happen. Oh no! Oh no! no! Don't rip! Don't rip! Stay with me, boys. Stay with me. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. All right. So you do that. Simple. Now, I'm gonna put the garbage away. You need to get two tablespoons of butter. So this butter has little um, markings on it, so you know exactly what you do. Put that butter in there. This here is the butter and you're gonna go ahead and melt the butter. So, microwave. This is what I always do in the microwave. I just always hit popcorn and then start. I don't know. So that's what you guys do? That's what I do, popcorn start. Hey, I probably could burn water if I be completely honest. I'm not a cook. And then if I get like, if I feel ambitious, I just go extra. 30 seconds. Oh yeah, okay, perfect. You take a rolling pin and you're gonna roll this dough into a square. Oops. Don't get cocky. That's, uh, that's what my mom always, always tell me all day long as a kid, don't get cocky, you're gonna ruin it. I just about ruined it. I should've taped down this uh, paper, but we're going on. I rolled this one, it's pretty close. I mean, that's that's almost a square. And now I'm gonna roll this one out here. Dang it, remove all this. Okay, hang on. Okay. This is just a disaster. This paper, I should have taped it down. I can't do this, guys, this is so bad. I just rolled my tie in the pie crust. Somebody's gonna get hurt, that's somebody's gonna be me. Have you guys seen, what is that movie? Um, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom when the guy gets crushed by the rock? That's almost just happened right there on camera. To be honest with you, I don't think I ever get embarrassed. I feel embarrassed that this just happened. I'm not a cook. Okay, now, what we have to do is we gotta take the butter. And I, I don't have like a brush or anything, but I don't know how to do this. No help from the camera person. So <laughs> I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of butter. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands. Again, I wash my three times. I'm using my finger to spread it. Is that gross? You could maybe use like a spoon. Oh, right, got it. Okay. Butter, take a little bit. Like this. You know, the secret ingredient is always butter. Butter makes everything butter. <laughs> now, did you hear that? This is my pizza cutter. Welcome, R2. Cut it like this, ready? I don't know if I should cut like that. All right, we're sticking with it. Okay, and then we're gonna cut like this, and then we cut like this, and then I'm gonna cut it down like here, and I cut like here, and then like here. Take some more of this paper. This paper is, I, it's my bane in life, like literally. 
and you're gonna lift this Pop-Tart up very carefully and put it on the tray. Looks like I can only cook four Pop-Tarts. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're backtracking now. We're gonna put um, some goodness in the center of it. Now, one of the things that they says to use is jam and my mother-in-law, Sweet D, as I like to call her, she makes homemade raspberry jam. And I'm gonna use that for the center. Homemade, guys. Whoa, that's way too much. You don't wanna go right to the edges. That's, that's I, I remember that when I read the recipe. So, just like that. You take the top part, and you just put it right on top. Okay, like that. This is not part of the recipe. Nobody's ever said to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Take a little dab of peanut butter. Just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, guys, I'm gonna spread it out. I don't know if this is gonna work, guys. This could be, this could be the worst thing that's ever happened, or could be the greatest thing. A little dab of jam, you know, just to, just to spice it up a little bit. Put that on top of it. Put that on top of that. Okay, you know what? Let's get crazy. Um, what else can we put in the center of it? The Nutella. I don't have Nutella, but I do have this, the Nutella on the go. This is Miles' little treat he gets if he does something good. He'll never know. Get the Nutella out. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Chris, this is awesome. I like a lot of Nutella. I mean, let's not be, you guys, let me give my advice. If you're gonna do it, do it right. Don't be chintzy with the Nutella. Kinda looks like a wing. I got room for one more. What should I put in the center of it? All right, I'm doing the real recipe in the last one here. I'm gonna put in some more jam. Sweet D's raspberry jam, homemade. She would be a billionaire if she would sell it. She won't even give the recipe out. Mm -mm, she won't. You know what, let's just, let's just go all out. This one here, is gonna fold that right over. That was easy. I, maybe she should be doing it the whole time. And put this there. That is a huge Pop-Tart. Now, fork, okay? You have to go like this. And that puts, that makes the Pop-Tart, that makes the two pieces of dough stick together. See that? Yeah, I do, that's amazing, Chris. How'd you learn to do this? Culinary school, culinary school guys. Are... I'm not a cook. Oh, shoot. It's gonna have to kind of go like that maybe. I think, what I just learned is you should probably do this before you put it on the cooking tray. So then you have more room, because look at this. Look at this, this is just a disaster. We're making it up as we go, guys. We're making it up as we go. That's just like life, though. I'm sure people at Getaway Today are cringing. <laughs> like, what are you doing to our recipe? Okay. And I just realized we gotta put it in the oven. And I haven't heated the oven up yet, so one second. You have to heat the oven up to 350 degrees and then you gotta put these bad boys in for about 10 minutes. Now, you wanna put, the one last thing you wanna do is you wanna take some of this butter and put that on top because why not? Just put a little butter. There you go, you just kinda of go like that. I think that might make it a little flakier. I'm not exactly sure what that does. Okay, so now the oven is heated up to 350 degrees. And we're gonna put our Pop-Tarts in. I'm making four Pop-Tarts. I got shark fin, I got the mommy, the daddy, and. This is little, this is Uncle uh, Dave. That goes in. Now you put it on popcorn and you hit uh, add three seconds until it gets to 10 minutes. That's how you count it down. Just kidding, don't do that. Go to timer, put 10 minutes. Now while it's doing that, you need to make the frosting. So I got all the frosting. And while it's getting everything ready to make the frosting, I found that we had this handy dandy Provost Park Pass uh, cooking apron. I didn't even, I don't know why I made it didn't tell me that before. Okay, so now I'm gonna make the frosting to put on our Pop-Tarts. Now, their recipe, they made six to eight Pop-Tarts. I'm only making four Pop-Tarts, so I'm gonna half everything. I'll tell you what the original recipe is, then we'll half it. First thing that you need here is, you need uh, six tablespoons of butter. Six tablespoons of butter, and I'm going to half that to three. Boop. Simple, easy. Put that in there, make sure you put the butter. Just I put that wrapper in there, it's good. Uh, you need to put this in the microwave and melt it. Oh, now I got, now I'm doing a timer on it. It'll work. It'll. I'm not a cook. How are you doing? Things going well? Good. You guys going crazy at home? <laughs> Perfect. Then go back to the timer. And the timer's still going. 
You're supposed to use two cups of powdered sugar, but since I'm halving it, I'm only gonna use one cup of powdered sugar. Pat it down, make sure. Now you pour in the butter. That looks good, doesn't it? You're supposed to do a dash of salt, but we're halving it, so I think half of a dash is a pinch. Pinch. All right, now you're supposed to add a few drops of vanilla. So I'm halving, I'm gonna half a few drops. So I think a few is three, so I'll do one and a half drops. Oh. Well. <laughs> that was like about nine drops. Eh, you can never have too much vanilla. So I'm not a cook. You're supposed to use one teaspoon, but we're halving it, so half a teaspoon, so I'm gonna half it. I'm gonna eyeball it. Okay, now you gotta start mixing it together. I mean, I am no expert, but... I'm not a cook. Something's happening in here. I'm gonna add a little food coloring to spice it up. If I can figure out how to open up the box. Got it. Just a titch, I want a light blue, Pixar blue. Look like normal frosting. No. I don't know if the frosting is supposed to look like that, but we'll see. We'll see how it tastes. Okay, our timer's going off. Let's take a look and see how it looks. I want it to be kind of like flaking brown. We're at high altitude, so maybe we should cook it a little bit longer. Look at that. Not bad, not bad. Now, you're supposed to put them on a cooling rack to cool. Oh, shoot. All right. Oh! Ah! <laughs> we lost part of the crust. That's why you have to fork it even better. This one's gonna be the hardest one. It's the big one, it's the Big Papa. I like it when you call me Big Papa. And then we got the shark. Fin right here. And while they cool down, I'm gonna clean this up. How do you think John Lennon likes his Pop Tarts? Strawberry filled forever. Here's the thing, now we're gonna frost it. Oh, the frosting's got a little harder. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna get my fingers wet, that'll be better. the frost list, the frost list um, pop tarts. Something's wrong with that, but look what we have here. I went to the store to buy, um, like, like the recipe says you should put like like a yellow hearts and or not yellow, yellow stars and little white like, light, like sugar balls on it to make it look like Pixar. But I couldn't find that, but this is, I got overwhelmed at the store looking at all the things you could put on top of a cupcake. There's sprinkles, there's glitter, there's glam, there's like oils, there's like, there's every flavor. And then this attracted me because I like the color orange. So I thought I'd do a little orange. Oh jeez. All right kids, if you're doing this, don't pry it open. It should, should snap off, it's a lid, I, I busted it. Because I'm not a cook. Let's try it. Let's get right down to it, you ready? Which one? Nobody wants to try that one. You right? gotta try that one. Okay. All right, here we go. This one was, oh, this is the peanut butter jam one. See inside, the peanut butter and jam. Wow. Just like mom used to. The frosting is really sweet. That's like a lot of sugar. Hmm. I can't remember which one. I think this one, I think the shark fin's Nutella. So let's do shark fin next. Ooh look, ooh, look at that golden color. Ready, right, breaking half. That's the Nutella. Oh, yeah. You ready? Oh. Mm. 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 I, I mean, I like the frosting, but this, I think, tastes better with actually without the frosting. 
I saw Amanda try one. Good job, babe. These look amazing. Um, what is what? Are these both jam? Uh, yeah, okay. sure. I'm gonna do a uh, Sweet D's raspberry jam, but you guys, I need mine with frosting. A little more frosting on there. They're so cute. Good job, babe. I like it a lot. Homemade pop tart. I'm eating the raspberry jam, sweet D's raspberry jam with some frosting. It's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's actually really good. Mm. Good job, Chris. Happy baking, everyone. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Magical Meals with Amanda minus Amanda, because the next time we do this, definitely Amanda's gonna be here because we need Amanda to do Magical Meals at Pearl's Park Fast because I cannot do Magical Meals without Amanda. So, excuse me, whoa, that's a mouthful. Anyways, go ahead and like, subscribe. You know the whole drill by now. And if you want to see some other fun cooking videos, click over there. There's a good video right there where Amanda, and that's a good one. You guys will like that a lot. And if you want, you can get an extra video every week where Amanda and I will answer any question you ask us. And it only costs $3 a month. Go to Provost Park Pass. Go to patreon.com, Provost Park Pass, and sign up for $3 a month, and you'll get an extra video every week with me and Amanda. Woo! That's another cook.